Hey people, it is Saturday, April the, what was it again? 13th. 13th. <laughs> Time is 3.20 in the afternoon. And I'm with Megan and we are on Dundas Street, just a bit east of Sherborne. And we're making our way into Leslieville. We're gonna take a walk to Descendants Detroit style pizza. Mm -hmm. Megan and I will be meeting up with some of her family there who are coming in from Guelph. And we're going to try out this pizza place. It's gotten really good reviews. And it's a very pleasant 8 degrees right now. It might get up to around 10 degrees. It is quite nice out right now. Yeah, actually it's feeling quite a bit warmer already. I might have overdressed, yeah. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, same. I'm feeling a bit warm, but that's okay. Yeah. I have a feeling as we continue on, I'll probably have to unzip or delayer or something. That's okay. So the restaurant is on Queen Street East, just a bit east of Jones. What's and Jones? Jones Avenue. Oh. I thought you meant Jones as in like Jones Place or like <laughs> Jones Eatery and you know, like, uh oh, what's that? Yeah, not that Jones. <laughs> and Jones and Fritz and Jones. There was a wind advisory earlier, but at the moment, doesn't seem too windy. I think it's been cancelled for the city of Toronto. Hopefully. So I don't want 60 kilometer gusts in my face when we're trying to live stream later. Right. As I say that, the wind picks up. <laughs> yeah. And I've never tried Detroit style pizza, and neither has Megan. No. Obviously, we've never been to this restaurant or any other one serving that style of pizza. <clears throat> this restaurant was featured in the One Bite Pizza Review YouTube channel, though. It's Dave Portney. He gave it a pretty high rating. Oh, that's promising. If we encounter, like, a cafe along the way. I might have to stop and get a coffee. Okay. Just an FYI. Yeah. I don't think that my earlier three cups were like sufficient enough to stave off my caffeine headache. <laughs> okay. So I may have to like <laughs> get a little more intense and up the ante to an Americano. Okay. I think I just need some espresso in my system. So maybe we'll take Parliament South down to Queen. I'm still not even really hungry. Maybe by the time we're sitting down, I'll be ready. You haven't even eaten anything today. No, I haven't had a single thing to eat or drink yet today. <laughs> Jeez. I've had three cups of coffee, three bowls of cereal, two little mini O'Henry bars, a handful of chocolate raisins, and two glasses of water, and I'm hungry. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just don't feel hungry yet. How? There's my neighborhood Fresh Co. where I often go. I'm 
And here we go. Yeah, right through the red light. Good job. <laughs> a lot of cyclists don't realize they have to obey by traffic laws. And the majority of them don't obey any of traffic yeah. laws. Yeah. And I don't say that as some sort of advocate for cars because I am no fan of cars at all. But cyclists easily run wild on the streets <laughs> in a way that cars can never really get away with, you know? Yeah. Like, imagine if cars ran red lights at the rate cyclists do, it would be chaos, <laughs> collisions every day. Like, I mean, more than normal, way more, mm -hmm. yeah. So is your family coming into town specifically just to go to this restaurant? No, they're picking up my sister and bringing her back to Guelph because she's going back to Vancouver on Monday. So they're going to take her to the airport. Oh, I thought my sister was staying in Toronto for longer than that. No. Okay. She's coming back again at the end of May, but she's going back to Vancouver until then. Okay. For like a month. Look at the little puppy. Oh. Look at the little, look at the little puppy. Oh. Yeah, the Shih Tzu? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, she's so cute and tiny. Did you see her little bow? Yeah, she kind of looks similar to her owner. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> they do say that dogs and their humans start to look alike after a while. <laughs> right. I don't know, am I starting to look like Wilford Brimley? <laughs> Thankfully, no. <laughs> 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 I wonder how the pizza is here. <laughs> I don't know. They do have. I haven't Ooh. heard any reviews of this place. <laughs> they look like they have pretty good onion rings, though, and sweet potato fries. Farm supermarket. This is like an Islamic little stretch here on this part of Parliament Street. Any examples of facadism? Hmm. I don't think so. I'll keep an eye out though. See if they're facadomizing any more buildings. <laughs> right. <laughs> That was so clever. Whoever came up with that, props to you. <laughs> that was extremely clever. I laughed for a while. <laughs> Remember Belinda? Yeah. She used to live right there above Peking oh, wow. Express. Oh, wow, really? That's just an old coworker of ours from back in the day, because Megan and I met at the same workplace, years which shall not be named. Years ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, gee, I met you like 11 years ago now. Yeah. That's crazy to think about. Yep. Moss Park Apartments. So far, the weather is actually quite decent. Yeah, it's a little nippy, but not so bad when you're in the sun. Mm -hmm. 
It's definitely still like winter cold. Like you definitely want your winter coat. All right, so we're heading east on Queen Street East. This is the Corktown neighborhood. And we're still on the east side of downtown. Yes. We'll be going over the Don River though, out of downtown as we continue on towards a restaurant, which is in the Leslieville neighborhood, as I mentioned. Yes. Leslieville's a nice spot. I hardly ever go there, though. Yeah. <clears throat> I always thought this part of Queen seemed a bit sleepy. It's not necessarily sketchy like it is near Sherborne, right? But Maybe a little bit. Oh, what's this? But it's a bit lacking in activity, I find, this stretch here, you know? Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Yeah. But then once you go over the river into Riverside, it gets much livelier. Yeah. And it stays lively all the way through Leslieville. I just saw a restaurant and it was called Cahoots. I was like, that'd be so much fun to like meet people there and be like, hey, where are you at? We're in Cahoots. Cahoots, yeah. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to not get that guy's bum crack in my video. Yeah. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. I'm sure I and everyone else watching this appreciates that immensely. Yes, yes. You know who hasn't posted any videos lately? No. Apollo and Friends. Oh. I think they're moving, that's why. That's Megan's favorite African gray parrot who has a YouTube channel. Yeah, uh, I'm a big Apollo stan. Yeah. But yeah, I think they just have, they're in the middle of moving, so that's probably why. He does a lot of talking, that Apollo. He does. Yeah. He does. My favorite is when he does something he's not supposed to, and he knows he's not supposed to do it. So he'll do the thing, and then right after he'll go, Apollo, stop doing bad. <laughs> stop doing bad. <laughs> so cute. It's like, then why aren't you doing it? You know you're not supposed to. <laughs> Look at this Frankenstein's monster of a building right? here. <laughs> it's so weird looking. <laughs> Not facade isn't at least, but similar. It has this bizarro addition on the side of it here, which I'm not so sure about. I've always liked this little row of old houses here. Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah. I like, although these aren't houses, I don't think, but it would be cute to like live in something like that. This one at the end here, it's a new one because the original old house burned down, I remember. Oh, really? Yeah. So at least when they rebuilt, it sort of fits in, you know, with the existing old, old historic. Oh, you homes. know what this is? This is Viztec, oh my God. I have trauma from Viztec. 
Yeah, what, what is Vistec? It's like a photography equipment store. My dad used to come here when I was a little kid all the time because he owned a photography studio just like in this neighborhood somewhere. And he used to come here and get all his equipment. And so he would park in the parking lot and he would go inside and like leave me and my mom and my siblings in the parking lot of Viztec for like hours, oh. like hours. Like we'd be sitting there and like we'd be crying and like Jeez. just like get me out of here, like feeling trapped. And he would just go in and like completely get lost and like <coughs> like not be aware of how much time was going by. Like, like it's not like, like when you're doing your crochet. Yeah, or, like yeah. he would get hyper focused on. <laughs> right. Look that parking lot right back there. Oh no, that's the site where it all happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like he'd go he'd go in and like we'd be crying and my sister would be angry and like I'd be screaming and frustrated and my mom would be frustrated uh, and my brother would be crying and like we'd all be losing our minds and like literally hours hours would go by have you ever brought this up with him oh yeah we, we talk <laughs> yeah, about it all the time yeah 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 and every time he's like, I think I'll go to Viztec. We're like, yeah, you're going by yourself. I'm not coming. It's like, yeah. like imagine if like I was hyper focused on a project and you were like in the room with me and not allowed to leave for the duration of my hyper focus. Yeah, I don't think I'd enjoy that. No, no. <laughs> that was like childhood trauma from being at Viztec. Yeah, I remember that well. But his studio was like somewhere around here. Because I remember like driving over the river on the bridge and looking up at the tall buildings and stuff like whenever dad would take us to the studio. Right. It might have even been this building now that I think about it, but. This brick one here? Yeah, but that was like, because I remember it was a brick building. But last time I was in there, I was probably like five years old. So like. I don't really remember, but it might have been this building. This looks like the familiar. type of buildings that might have studios. In yeah, like this feels very familiar. Yeah. It might have been in here. Reco yeah, it might have been this building actually. It's a recording studio, yeah. so there might be yeah, yeah. photography studios also. And I remember like the big windows. Let me just peek inside. See if it's the same. Yeah, no, I totally think it was in this building. Yeah. It was in here. Or in there, because yeah, I remember like the big glass windows and he was up on one of the top floors. And I remember like going up there and like some of his photographs like were like huge, like floor to ceiling prints of them mounted on the walls and stuff. Huh. But he did pretty well for himself with his business. Like he got, like he, he did the Sears catalog every year. How come he didn't keep that as his primary job? Because it was starting to dry up. like. It was in the mid 90s and everything was starting to go digital oh. and like my dad's specialty was like print yeah so like and he would do like setups like he would do physical setups with props and stuff so his big thing was like actual tangible like 3d you know like things but then it was like in the mid 90s it was starting to like everything was starting to switch to digital right so it was really hard for him to like find work to the same extent and then also like people were starting to use like like cgi and like computer effects and photoshop and stuff was becoming a big thing yeah. but my dad was like big on not retouching photos as much as possible so like everything had to be right like when you shoot like the lighting and yeah. all that stuff right yeah so he in order for him to continue he would have had to like reskill and completely like upgrade his entire business model and he just like wasn't interested in doing it and also like free trade like killed a lot of his business too because a lot of his clients were starting to then outsource their work to places in the states where they could get it done cheaper and also like because of the digital thing it was possible to do that where i was like to hire my dad you'd have to like like it was a studio production, right? That's a lot of overhead. So it's a lot more expensive. Yeah. So yeah, basically business was drying up and he had to reskill anyway. So he had like four hungry mouths to feed and like a new mortgage that he had to deal with. And like my mom lost her job because her company was moving out west. So he didn't have her income anymore. So it was like, okay. So then he went over into IT because like that's where all the money was at the time, right? This is like 1995. 
so that's what happened. And he so was, he could not continue. He could not continue. <laughs> not the way things were going. Mm -hmm. So that's how that happened, unfortunately. Oh, too bad. Yeah. I'm really hot now. I am too, actually. I'm getting kind of warm. <laughs> now I wish I had worn that. I already unzipped my <laughs> coat and my shirt. Yeah. Unbuttoned my shirt. Now I wish I had stuck with my denim shirt. Mm -hmm. I should have stuck with that. Listen to your instincts, Megan. But then also, we don't know how cold it's going to be later too, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, we're heading over the Don River. Don Valley Parkway. This is the Queen Street Viaduct. <clears throat> Actually, maybe I'll get you to hold the camera for a minute. So I can take off this coat. Sure. <laughs> ah, it's got a shock. Yeah. Hey, I'm in control now. Woo! <laughs> All right. Okay, just... ready? Wee! <laughs> I'm making everyone dizzy. I There's just have Ken to take my microphone. Coat. He's stripping for us, guys. Off my coat. <laughs> and I'll put it here. Wait, what does gimbal endpoints reach mean? I don't know. No, it's, it, it's gone now. I don't know. Maybe you spun around too much. Oh. <laughs> Wee! There's the sky, and there's the floor, and there's the sky, and there's the floor, and there's... Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just giving your viewers vertigo. It's fine. All right, and there's Ken. We should get you a tote bag. That's okay. <laughs> also, if you get too hot, I'll wear this shirt for you. Okay. <laughs> That's better. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed my spinning or if it was too much. <laughs> if I gave any of you a Like vertigo. Walking Man Dude. Let's yeah. Come back. Walking Man Dude. Megan was Walking Man Dude all along. Oh no. <laughs> I let the cat out of the bag. Oh no. And we oh, are sorry, over the river. We are in Riverside now. We're over the river and through the woods. Nobody got that, did they? Dark Horse Espresso. Mm -mm. I'm going to duck in there for a sec. All right. Are you okay if I just like... Yeah. Do you want anything? No. Okay. All right, well, maybe I will pause the video and continue when she's gotten her espresso. All right, we are back. Megan has her espresso. And continue on, we will. We will continue. That's what I just said, in, I a, in a Yoda sort of way. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Continue, we will. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what you should do on International Star Wars Day. Continue, we will. <laughs> that was pretty good. Wait, can you do that again? <laughs> Continue, we will. <laughs> can you do, can you do, um, 
I'm not gonna do impressions in a video. No, but okay, wait. That was a one-off thing. Can you say something dirty in a Yoda voice? Not in a video. Okay, can you do that later? Maybe later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Riverside, and the wind is kicking up here. It's blowing my microphone all over the place on <laughs> my shirt. Hmm. My shirt is not buttoned up. My shirt. That's what Apollo says all the time. Yeah. He goes, my shirt. <laughs> and I fiddled with the settings on the dual mic setup here so hopefully it sounds a bit better than it did the last couple times we did videos like this oh yeah because it was like the stereo yeah stereo, right? i switched off the stereo so okay. now it's only in mono okay so that i helps. also switched off noise reduction right which made all the background noises sound muffled you know so yeah. Yeah, yeah. hopefully it'll sound more normal now You'll actually get the full audio effect of what it's like to walk on the streets. Yeah. <laughs> with the Ken Continuum. That's right. This pub is amazing, by the way. Prohibition, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have nachos in there that will like make your brain explode. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go there then. <laughs> <Pooey>. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. It was supposed to be the sound of a brain exploding. <laughs> the Broadview Hotel. Civic Restaurant. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know either. The building is good. I'm a big fan of this building. It's the Opera House. You were just here a little while ago. I was. Who did you see there again? Cobra. Cobra. Yeah. That was so fun. Oh, look, 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 look. Sorry, I just have to. Second I just have voyage to. Voyage vintage. I just have to see really quick. I can't like pass by something like this and not look at it. You know what I mean? Look at this chair. Oh my God, I love this sweater. I could do so much with this sweater. <gasps> what is this? Ooh, I do like that too. So much I could do. Not in Leslieville yet, but soon. This is awesome skirt. But look, burrito queen. Wonder what their prices are. Ten ninety nine for a burrito, fries, and a coke Ooh. or a soda. That's an awesome chair. This is not That's a bad deal, right? Ten ninety nine for fries, a burrito, and a drink. It's not bad. That chair is amazing. Yeah, I know. I said that. Yeah. Oh. I want that chair. I bought. So I have a friend who like lives around here. I haven't seen him in like years, like since before COVID. But like, he's an artist, so I used to go chill with him in his studio sometimes when he was working. And I would come like stop at that vintage store and I bought a really pretty like um, 
black ruffly dress one time and I've never once worn it. I still have it, it's gorgeous. And every once in a while I like pull it out and I think I should wear this. I just never have for whatever reason. Hmm. But like I can't get rid of it because it's such a nice dress and it looks really nice and it just like fits really well. And I and it's classy so it like never goes out of style. I just cannot bring myself to get rid of it but I've never once worn it. Yeah, I totally should have worn my denim shirt. This sweater was not a good idea. And that coat weighs like 800 pounds. I'm it sure does. It's contributing a bit to the, it does weigh to the heat. <laughs> Look, oh my God, I love these boots. Look at these, look at these. Can I just like really quickly? They're like chucks. I know, but they're so cute. It's the common sort. I love this store. Okay, I just have to. And this is what happens quick. when you <laughs> walk with Megan. <laughs> Hello. All right, I'm gonna pause the video again and we'll resume when she's coming out. Okay. And we are back. I just tore myself away. <laughs> Sorry, I love the common sort. It's one of my favorite thrift stores, like, ever. Can you get it? Can you just... Oh, wait, you're going to There's another... Oh, my God. I'm back here. Hold on. On Chaco. Oh, shoot, the microphone. <laughs> we didn't think this through very well, did we? No. Like, well, I thought it would be a lot colder. Yeah. So like I should have worn that denim shirt. Megan, listen to your instincts. Now I'm like mad that I didn't do that. Because um, it said like 10 degrees feels like four when I checked the weather and I was like, that's cold. Like that's chilly with the wind. Now like, it feels like way hotter than that. I know. I even feel too warm with this flannel shirt. I feel like I should just wear my t-shirt. Um, can we do that? Can you take off your <laughs> flannel shirt and can I wear it instead of this? Well, how about we we'll wait till we get to the restaurant? Well, yeah. why don't we just do it now? We can just duck over there. Then you don't have to sweat the rest of the way there. Well, I'm not sweating. Well, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> why don't we just do that? All right. Let's go over in the shade here. That's Degrassi Street, the famous Degrassi uh, Street. Ah, yes. Okay, now could you hold the camera again? Yes. And maybe don't spin around and okay. stuff. This <laughs> time we'll, we'll just watch you strip. All right, take everyone. Take this off again. Hopefully, all this fiddling with the microphone. Why don't you just leave it on? Because then I can put that shirt on. And well, with that microphone, I can just give you, you my microphone. You have to take microphone. that one off. Yeah, but I can just give you my microphone. Uh, I'll just. It's okay. See, it's cold in the shade, but once you get in the sun, it's like warm. It's here. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Ken Strippin. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Thank you. I've seen this spot for like momentarily. Now I'm stripping. <laughs> Woo! Make sure that mic doesn't fall down now. No, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, well it's 
bit short, but that's okay. Okay. All right, let's go. This is gonna be one of the weirdest <laughs> walks ever. <laughs> <laughs> Where we just like stretch in the middle of it. <laughs> you want to say something? Hello, hello. Okay. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Is my mic on? Yeah, it's on. I have a question. It's something that I've like been wondering for like a long time. And every once in a while it just like puzzles me. Maybe you can help answer my question. Uh -huh. <laughs> you sound afraid. Why do I dread this? Okay, what, what is it? Why are station wagons called station wagons? Because they're not stationary. Nor are they wagons. So it seems like a misnomer. I've never really thought about it, to be honest. It bothers me sometimes. <laughs> like, where? why station? Did they come from a station? Are they going to a station? It probably harkens back to, like, a time when they were used to transport people from some sort of station. <laughs> right, but like, that's what I mean. Right, like, not, not like anything to do with being stationary. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. But that's what I mean, like what station? Like, is there some station where like, all the station wagons come from? <laughs> I don't know. Is there like... I have no idea. We could easily uh, Google this later and get to the bottom of it. I've just never thought about it and wondered myself personally. Now you will. Right? Now you will wonder. Like, why is a car called a car? Right? But, <laughs> but right. I mean, a station wagon is more specific. So Right. Yeah. But that's what I mean. Like, what yeah. station and uh, why? I don't know. And it's not really a wagon, is it? Well, it sounds like it's a word that was just reused from an earlier era, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's hooked. They have good seafood. There's a, there's a hooked on Dundas West. Is there? Yeah, like close to where I was. They have good seafood. Juz Sushi. It's a good thing there's a U there. I know. And not some other letter. I had the exact same thought. I was like, ooh, that could have easily gone real bad. Yeah. Real, real bad. These old school convenience store signs here. Those aren't allowed anymore in, in new businesses, but the old ones like that are grandfathered in, so they can right. stay. Why aren't they allowed anymore? That seems weird. Because they're considered like unsafe or something along those lines yeah. now. Look, it's Craig's cookies. Yeah. Very good cookies here. Yeah, excellent cookies. This is Logan Avenue. Isn't that where you stopped with Johnny that one time when you were streaming with him? No, Ashton? that was in on Church Street. Yeah, but they have multiple locations. Yeah. So. But yeah, we were at the Church Street one. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Queen Books. Ooh. This is awesome. Look at the top here with all the little people reading. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. I love that. You don't see too many storefronts like this. Yeah. Ooh, that looks good. And all the books here on this little mock bookshelf. Look at that one. This is Caliban probably the coolest the bookstore storefront I've ever seen, actually. Like, were these real books at one time? Maybe. No, I don't think so. Hey, look, look, look. 
a philosophy of walking. Oh yeah, nice. That's like your life. This one looks really good. Caliban and the Witch, Women, the Body, mm -hmm. and Primitive Accumulation. That looks super good. Yeah, these are obviously not real books. <laughs> I thought maybe they were real books that got lacquered, you know, or yeah, coated. Yeah, painted over. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been neat. And then all glued together. That would have been neat, but also like somewhat sacrilegious. To do that Ooh, to is books. That the, ooh, this is the, the East End Valley Village. Whatever, us first. Well, you know what they do to books in bookstores, right? They get rid of them? They destroy them. I know. When they don't sell. Can we stop in here on the way back? The um, I was going to take another route for the stream on the way back. Oh, but I really want to stop in there. Yeah, me too. Maybe like, can you stream wherever and then meet me there? Mm, then we can stream maybe. the rest of the way? We'll figure it out. We'll figure okay. it out. So I didn't want to walk along the same street during the stream that we are recording now for this video. Right. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. They might be closed anyway. Well, I'll check before we leave and see if they're closed or not. And then maybe like what I can do is just walk back and check it out. And then you can stream and then I can like meet you somewhere. And we can continue the stream right. for the rest of the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then like we can start the stream together outside and then I'll come this way, do my thing. You go do your thing and we'll just meet up and finish off the stream. Cause I think I'll stream, like I'll stream for you the rest of the time. I'll stream with you, cause it's nice. Okay. It's really nice out right now. Oh, and then I can stop at the shoppers and get you your drink that I promised you. Oh, yeah. Well, there's always plenty of other shoppers we can do that later at. True, but that way. And we could sit down in the cinema room. I'm concerned you might do that. I'm not really trying to speak down from the side of the stuff. Well, it is like a wind warning. One of us is not like me. I don't think I saw it. Like hey, this is Carlaw. This is an interesting street. She has nice ink. Did you see that? Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice dog. Ooh, oysters. I love oysters. Boston Avenue. Another old school convenience store. Yeah. Pawn shops seem to be disappearing. Yeah, I know. There used to be a ton of them on like Church. Queen East. Yeah. Most I of the ones on Church are all closed down now. Yeah. I remember like 10 years ago, like a friend of mine from university, um, her mom was like really into pawn shops and she would come into Toronto with her friend. They were from Guelph and they would come into town and go to the pawn shops all the time. Mm -hmm. And then my friend and I would like join them. And it was really fun. Yeah. Her mom passed away though, like five years ago. Maybe a little more now, it was really sad. 
Wind. Ooh. Just crossed Pape Avenue. We're getting pretty close now to the restaurant. Where is it at? Just past Jones. Okay. Another five minutes or so, I would say. Just talk over the music as I do here. <laughs> The street gets a little more dull here for a stretch, but it kind of livens up again once you get a bit further east. Because they built these like apartments here yeah. with no retail at the base, you know? Yeah. So it kills the whole vibe of the street. It does. I know. It just like yeah. deadens it out for a while. Yeah. Except for like a wine rack, but like, okay. Yeah. How many people are and That's That's a new that? one. You think they would have put more right. retail than they did. This one is old, but they didn't know any better when they built this one. <laughs> I don't know, like the retail in some of the new buildings sucks. Yeah. Because they tend to put chain stores in there. Oh yeah, because that's the only places that can afford the rents. Exactly. In those new buildings. So it kind of sucks. Like I'd rather, I like the retail in like older buildings like this. Yeah, for you sure. You get cooler spots there. It's fine grained, fine grained retail. Right. You can't recreate that in right. new buildings. Right. I mean, they try sometimes, but it never quite feels the same. Exactly. Hey, first we had like Boston Avenue, now we got Brooklyn Avenue. <laughs> Is there a theme going on here? U.S. cities. <laughs> I think they just like having like a This is where the creepy dollhouse is. Oh, yeah. You've seen that before, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just a little ways up. I've done some videos of the creepy dollhouse, if you're interested. What do you upload this on YouTube? You should have a little, like, card on the screen to the creepy dollhouse video. Yeah. At this point. Or link to it in the description so people can check it out. <clears throat> Hi, uh, yum, yum, yum. Leslieville is beautiful. I don't know about beautiful, but it's interesting. <laughs> it is. It is that. Tangle Palace. Jones Avenue right up ahead. So the pizza place should be right past here. Tell it was windy today. Yeah. <laughs> all these sandwich boards are all blown over. Blown down. Should be like their murals proclaiming what neighborhood you're in. <laughs> Almost every building on the corner has one. Just in case you didn't know that. Yep. 
Hey, look, there's a Belly Busters. Yeah. And here we are, Descendants Detroit style pizza here on Queen Street East. So I'm gonna to start to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed the walk with Megan and myself starting from basically just around the corner from my place. And we made our way eastward through Ooh, various neighborhoods along here. Queen Street East. Eventually finding our way to Leslieville here. And we're gonna try this pizza place in just a minute. So I hope you enjoyed the walk. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your Let thoughts. Let you know how it goes. That's right. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal as well as via my merch store. Or you can also support the channel by becoming a channel member or by sending a super thanks if you prefer. And you can find me on Instagram under KContinuum. And you can find Megan on both YouTube and Instagram under Megan Sandor. That's right. Go Her check it channel out. just hit 1,500 subscribers. Not more now. What's, well, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unless anyone drops. Right. <laughs> so thanks for watching and thanks to the channel members. And be sure to keep checking back because, <laughs> as always, we will, continue. we will continue to eat Detroit style pizza.